Apollo Hospitals has now introduced the Mazor Renaissance Robotic Spine Guidance System, which is really the future of spine surgery and is expected to radically alter the way we do spine surgeries. This has now been introduced at Apollo Speciality Hospitals, Chennai. Dr. Sajan Hegde, Senior Consultant in Spine Surgery, Apollo Hospitals, has used this new technology for a variety of procedures ranging from minimally invasive surgeries for low back procedures to extremely complex reconstructive procedures for deformities, especially in children. We have Dr. Hegde with us today to explain to us a little more about this revolutionary new procedure. Doctor, would you like to tell us about this Mazor Renaissance robotic spine procedure? Well, traditionally uh, we have been doing surgery and fixing implants on the spine uh, for the last more than two, three decades. But that essentially was based on uh, the expertise of the surgeon. And there is always a place for human error. When we have this error in the place of vital structures like the spinal cord or uh, uh, the vessels, blood vessels which carry blood to the limbs, uh, there is always room for uh, more uh, serious complications uh, to occur. What the Mazor robot does is that it gives the, the surgeon precision, uh, safety and exposes him to less radiation during uh, when he is performing these spinal procedures. Uh, in, in the past, uh, there have been attempts to use uh, technologies like uh, navigation, but at the end of the day, they still wear freehand. What the robotic uh, Renaissance guidance system does is that it offers unmatched precision to the surgeon right down to 99.7 percent accuracy. Doctor, what are the advantages of this procedure for the patient well, as opposed to regular surgery? Yes, uh, the, the earlier the procedures that we used to do open we can do now more, more and more in a, using a minimal invasive technique. Now when we used to do these minimal invasive procedures, the surgeon and the patient would be exposed to a lot of radiation. What the guidance system, the robot helps us with is to cut down this radiation right down to the minimum. And also, as I said before, give us this precision. The other uh, place where it can help us is in performing uh, corrective reconstructive surgery in extremely challenging situations like the one we have performed for a child who had multiple procedures for correction of a congenital deformity which had been done in the past elsewhere and failed and she had come to us with a severe rigid deformity with br implants broken at multiple levels. Now the challenges that we faced with the child were A, our bones were very small, two, since she had been operated multiple times, uh, the, the, the field as we call it was not virgin, the landmarks which we look for as spine surgeons were missing and that makes our job extremely difficult. Here the robot helps us to uh, navigate the, la uh, the, the spine uh, using the CT scan which has been fed into it in a perfect manner and this is what it helped us to do and get our implants in a safe manner and correct the deformity for the child. Doctor, does it uh, improve or does it reduce the uh, weight, the post-operative complications? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, even in the best of hands, malposition of spinal implants is as high as uh, 10 to 30 percent. So that means one in three patients can land up with nerve injury or other more serious injuries where after a spinal surgery. Now if we use the robot, these injuries are reduced to negligible levels. In fact, 
perhaps we wouldn't even have those injuries happening at all. Uh, could you uh, give us some details about some of the complex surgeries and the patients that you have treated? Well, the patients that we have here, uh, the gentlemen, uh, two gentlemen from Oman who have undergone uh, low back surgeries, minimal invasive surgeries for uh, severe, they, they came to us with severe mechanical low back pain which had been treated in their home country but they had not, uh, they did not get good relief and they still had severe pain which interfered with their normal activities. So uh, we were able to use the robot to do a minimal invasive procedure where we fixed and reconstructed their spine and now of course they are up and about and free of pain. Uh, doctor, is this uh, procedure the first for Asia? The technology evolved in Israel. It was developed in Israel. So Israel is part of Asia and that's where it all began. It has uh, been used for the last few years in a uh, few centers in western part of Europe, mostly in Germany, and a few centers in the US. We are the first in Asia Pacific and outside of Israel, the first in Asia. And perhaps the first uh, to use it for a child who has had multiple surgeries uh, where we have done a corrective surgery using the robotic guidance system. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.